Hi, I'm Margie Remers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Well, if you checked your email, then you will know that it is recertification season. So this happens every year. Uh, usually happens around April 1st. This, is, this year they're a little late. Um, and anyone who got their most recent certification prior to November 1st of last year, so uh, right now that is November 1st of 2021, is going to have to recertify. So I'm just gonna make it this quick video to um, tell you a little bit about the process of recertification um, and then a little bit about the recertification test this year. So as I mentioned, if you got your latest certification before November 1st of last year, and what I mean by latest certification is if you just recently got your advanced certification, that is your most recent certification. So in that case, you do not have to recertify that basic test. Taking the advanced certification knocked that out for you. So good for you. Um, so your most recent certification last year before November 1st, then you'll have to recertify and you will recertify every year around this time, every spring from now on. And of course, the reason is because Intuit wants you to know all of the latest and greatest features um, that they have unveiled in the last year in order for you to keep your pro advisor status. So there are uh, three section tests that you need to take. Two sections are just at the basic level. So if you only have your basic certification, you'll go in and when you click take exam, you'll just have those two sections that you need to take. If you have currently an advanced level certification, then you will have that third advanced section. And the great news for you is that if you don't pass the advanced section, you still get to keep your basic level certification if you pass those first two tests, okay? Um, each section test um, is uh, just about a dozen, uh, just about a dozen questions. It only covers, as I mentioned, the new material um, since last year. And let me give you a heads up on what some of those things are. In the basic level certification, there's you know about a, a dozen, 15 or so um, brand new topics, just kind of tweaks, things that you need to go in. Um, you'll find all of that in the Intu free Intuit training under your Pro Advisor tab. Look for the recertification course. And there are, there's a few, like I said, about a dozen or so um, just quick topics. There are two fairly big topics though that you'll probably really need to dive into. Um, the first is the new books review. Now this used to be called month end review and then they heard back from lots of accountants and said, hey, we don't need just need this at month end. We need this, you know, when we're doing a cleanup and you know, whenever we want to go in and make sure all of the books are good or are good to go. So um, this, they have renamed it from month end review to books review. They've created some new tabs, some new functionality. So you'll really want to dive in and learn all about that. The second thing is all about customizing reports and management reports. So you want to make sure and um, go in and dive into this. Now, there isn't really a whole lot of new material there, um, but for some reason they want you to go in and really take a deeper dive and kind of really understand how to customize reports and how those management reports work. I'm not sure why, um, if I ran into it, which I don't, I would use all of the customer service calls to create these topics. And so maybe a lot of people are calling in with questions about reporting and that's why they want you to learn it. Regardless, it doesn't matter. That's a big topic they want you to learn this year. So at the basic level, those are the things to watch out for. If you're retaking the advanced level certification, then there are the two things that you want to really pay attention to. Again, there's a handful, half a dozen or so, um, kind of it, little itty bitty things that you'll need to learn and be aware of. There's two new big topics though. One is um, the cash flow center. Now, apparently the cash flow center has been around for a while. 
that's the way they talked about it. But um, I've never seen it or played around with it or had any training on it before. So the cash flow center where you can go in and you can play with the numbers and you can um, take a look at your predictions, your future predictions and, and see how things are gonna go based on your historical activity. Um, so all of that's in there. You wanna make sure that you learn that. And then finally, the super cool new feature that is out there is corporate credit cards. Now, if you have any clients that have corp corporate credit cards, you know what a pain this has been in QuickBooks Online before. There really wasn't a good way to handle it. And uh, so now they've, un, uh, or they've released a new way to handle these corporate credit cards when you have like one account that you have to pay, but you have several people, you know, several employees with different cards and they're all charging things, but really it's just a corporate account. So you're just gonna pay the one thing and um, super cool the way that they have set it up now. So make sure that you deep take a deeper dive into that material and that's, the recertification this year. If you would like a fast and easy version of the course, then our course will be available on or before May 15th. You can find out more in the links below. Um, it'll cut your time in half that you need to train um, and or that you need to go through the training and uh, we will get you squared away. So that's it for me. I will see you next time.